uh, certain reasons to uh, care about, but more also how we could go about uh, caring about code quality. Uh, best time to ask a question or make a comment is when you have it, so please don't wait till the end. Uh, anytime you have a question, uh, just raise your hands or uh, just attract my attention and I'll more than be happy to um, uh, yield to you and listen to you. So the first question is, why, why care about code quality? What, what's the big deal about it? Now certainly, we want to be agile, right? So what does agile mean? Agile means we're going to get feedback, and based on the feedback, we're going to go back and uh, respond to those changes. And then go to the customer and say, here are the things we did last time. You wanted us to make these changes, so here you go. And take a look at it, review it. Let's move on forward. But as you are sitting there with the customers and asking them what kind of change you need to make, you begin to realize that the particular change they want you to make, if you were going to make it, you would, go, you would have to touch that piece of code. Remember the one that I'm talking about, right? That piece of code that you touched the last time and you could not go home that weekend. You're going to quietly tell the customer, you know what, that's not a good change after all because you don't want to spend yet another weekend at work. So in other words, uh, the, one of the main reasons to, be, uh, uh, to, to really care about code quality is, as uh, simple as that, you cannot be agile if your code sucks. And so it's important for us to care about code quality. Now this doesn't mean just because you have a good quality code, you're agile. I'm not, I'm not saying that, right? But it's really hard to be agile if your code sucks. You've got to have other things, but this is an important thing as well. But why, why, why really focus on code quality? That's the reason. But as uh, Albus and Sussman uh, talk about this in their book on software, in, in the SICP book, um, programs will be written for people to read and only incidentally for machines to execute. So we all write code and we focus so much on writing code. But more than writing code, we have to make sure that the code we write is actually readable. Now why is it important for us to be able to read somebody's code in our team? And the reason is, we write code just once, but we have to maintain it continuously. And if you're not going to maintain the code, what's the point in writing that? And, and any code that you write has to be maintained. If somebody tells you that they wrote a code once, and they never changed the design or the code, what they're telling you is that the project got canceled, right? So any code that's relevant to the marketplace has to evolve and change. So that's very important. So it's important for us to be able to read the code and understand it. Now, of course, right off the bat, I would ask you, how do you write readable code? Now, I've worked with several people. Somebody would tell you, my code is readable. You say, how do you know your code is readable? And they would say, my code is readable because I 